Hey, this is Anthony Dinar and my co-host Brandon Hayes. Hello. And in this episode of Torture Vision, we're dealing with a cult classic. No, <laughs> it's nostalgic to me nonetheless. Uh, Penguin Land. Yeah. In it, space. <laughs> it's one of the few games that we owned on the Master System when the system was brand new to us. Yeah. And um, that's the only reason why we're playing it now, just for nostalgia reasons. It's sort of like a uh, puzzle game. Yeah. Essentially. Where you're your cute penguin. You're a penguin trying to get this egg down to your spaceship. <laughs> it makes perfect sense, Which actually. Is, <laughs> yeah, your, your spaceship is trapped under this ice planet, I guess. Why is a penguin in space anyways? Who thought this was a good idea? I don't know. I don't understand why it couldn't have just been a regular penguin. <laughs> like, why you had to go to a spaceship is just <laughs> weird. Because space is cool. <laughs> but as you can see, you can break the ice blocks with your beak. And uh, you're just supposed to roll this egg down, down, down to the bottom of the level. And you see that white line there? If the egg drops past that white line, it'll crack. Right. And there's all sorts of obstacles in the way. Like, you see that thing going up and down that can crush your egg. Uh, you see the the space polar bears. <laughs> um, they can uh, they can crush your egg too. Uh, they also beat the shit out of you if yes, you get close to do. them. Yes, they do. They give they have a real mean right hook. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, you're just trying to oh, <laughs> just trying to protect this egg. And um, this first level is kind of easy. Life is hard as a space penguin. The puzzles get more and more difficult as you go along. And, um, gosh, I don't know what there's what more to say about this game. <laughs> it's fun. You should have it. Um, you know, it's, it, it was like one of the best games that we ever had. Um, aside from like, I don't know, maybe Wonder Boy or something. But I just remember playing the shit out of this. Yeah, and there's, um... There's a fun little level creator thing that allows you to uh, make your own penguin yeah. land levels. Dude, that was like way before its time. Like you didn't see that kind of stuff. It's like Mario Maker. And and really that's what started it is uh, I got news that uh, Mario Maker um, was out on the Wii U and it was this big hit. And I'm like, I don't need that. I can make my own levels with Penguin Land. And we went to uh, our like somewhat local uh, retro gaming store and we found this and I was so fucking excited like I had to have it and uh, uh, we bought a Wii U and Mario Maker <laughs> right after this <laughs> yeah you made one level in this before you bought a Wii U <laughs> I'm like who's gonna buy a Wii U for one game which is yeah <laughs> it's kind of funny we should I tell the backstory <laughs> Yeah, um, so like in our Silent Hill uh, long play, <laughs> yeah. we spent this big long portion of time talking about how shitty Nintendo is and how we would never buy a Wii U, and then like a week later you got one. We're like, fuck Nintendo and their gimmicky shit, the fucking controller, but you know, like in our defense, I guess, like the biggest complaint about Nintendo is all the stupid gimmicks. Yeah. And I especially don't like that goofy fucking nunchuck or whatever. Oh, for the, thing the is regular called. Wii? Yeah, it's terrible. And um I like the uh the Wii U though. I think you're screwed now, aren't yeah. you? Because you gotta crush your egg. You can crush your own egg if you get it stuck in a spot like that. Um but anyway, uh when I started looking at the backs of games like Mario Kart 8, I realized that it said motion controls optional. Yeah. Which was what it always fucking should have been. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But, um, yeah, so now that we know we don't have to rock the, the controllers back and forth like assholes. <laughs> you know when we would make fun of our parents for trying to play video games? Yeah, it's like, Mom, you don't need to shake the controller like that. Just press the buttons. Fucking idiot. <laughs> and, and then all of a sudden, like, that became the norm. <laughs> for Nintendo. <laughs> Uh, they, luckily, that only lasted for one, like, generation. Like, it's... I know you could still play it on the Wii U, but it, it's not required. Yeah, I, I I like to just hold my controller still and play a game like normal. And even... I don't really like the tablet controller all that much. Yeah. I think that's kind of pointless. But, um, but I can deal with it because I'm not rocking it back and forth. Yeah. 
Well, but, you got um, uh, you got the option of buying that other one without the screen, so. Well, yeah, that's true too. But most of the time, I'm just using the tablet because that's just default number one controller that we use. But um, anyway, uh, so I, I use uh, as I've been playing the Wii U, like I don't quite hate it as much as I did before, uh, just because I've only played a few games. Like Mario Maker is fucking amazing yeah. i said that from the very beginning like mario maker was one of the only good games on the system <laughs> and then uh i like the new mario kart because again it's just a straight up kart racing game it's not full of gimmicks yeah. and shit well like um after like n64 is probably the best mario kart ever and then on the gamecube you had that weird like two people one car thing going yeah, I, on. i hated that like yeah i didn't need all that stuff and when i saw that mario kart 8 had gliders and stuff I thought like oh man I don't like this it's gonna be weird I'm gonna have to learn how to fly in some sections and it's really not as complex as they make it out to be yeah no is that is actually great. really playable um so yeah welcome to Mario talk <laughs> we should uh, be playing <laughs> fucking uh, Mario Kart instead of this I mean this really this is the reason we got a fucking Wii U because this game sucks so bad <laughs> <laughs> the level generator is perfectly fine. Great for what it was back in the day. Yeah. But Mario Maker is so much more fun to play that, like, we're never going to play this again, I'm sure. <laughs> it was fun when you were a kid, but Mario Maker is much more entertaining. Yeah. And you thought I died. You thought I was fucked earlier. I got out of that mess. Look at that. Yeah, but you're taking your sweet time at the end here. Yeah, I'm trying to come up with a plan. <laughs> You can see your spaceship at the bottom there. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can see the Milky Way. And you've run out of time, by the way, which doesn't matter except for it affects your bonus. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah. Oh, interesting. So no bonus for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's so happy! He <laughs> Was that a peace sign he did? <laughs> is he going to fall? <laughs> no, that oh. fucking bear. You're kind of screwed now. I aren't know. You? I was like, oh well. Oh, <laughs> he helped me. <laughs> Normally, he would just break the egg. But yeah, you got lucky there. I did. See all the little baby penguins I have. Space. Baby are those penguins? babies? Or yeah. Are they just your crew, and you're like the tallest, <laughs> like <laughs> Invader Zim. <Yeah. laughs> like penguin hierarchy goes on. On the same level as uh, the Urken Empire. <laughs> Meanwhile, like, couldn't we get a different intro there? I mean, it's the same one for every level. And your spaceship at the top is just barely in the planet. It's not submerged within the planet's surface <laughs> like it is in these levels. And how did you lose all the eggs in the crash? And how did they not break in the crash? Yeah, I don't know. And then when you get them down to your spaceship that's assumably wrecked like what are you gonna do <laughs> you just gonna live down there with your eggs <laughs> is this a female penguin <laughs> oh shit is this like a female hero like um what's her fucking name from metroid samus aran <laughs> <laughs> these are yeah metroid babies no, I don't know. I, I think I'm fucked here, though. I don't think there's anything that I can do. Besides commit suicide there. Um, <laughs> but you don't die. No. Yeah, that is kind of neat. But, like, I can't push the egg the other direction. I think you just made things worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like we said, it's just a, your basic puzzle game. Yeah. And those, uh, those ice things that are cracked, they're so fragile that if the egg gets on it, it breaks right away. But it's so strong, your beak can't break it. Like, so I can't break those. You can only break the solid ice ones. Yeah. <laughs> there it goes. It took you a long time to lose that level. Well, it's my baby. <laughs> um, when you start this game, you can select what level you want to go to yeah it they're actually save. 30 it... levels and uh, you can go straight to level 30 if you want yeah which i do later on um and it's not easy and i'm fucked oh, i'm having trouble on level two who wants to go to level 30 and 
no, it's a difficult game. It really is. I don't know, like, I'm not the biggest fan of puzzles, but it is a fun game. I mean, I had to have it, and then all of a sudden I'm like, yeah, <laughs> let's get Mario Maker. You know, <laughs> at the same time we bought this, we bought a Master System and then a bunch of games on the same day. And we had we to go got back problem. and forth between different stores. <laughs> because one store only had a certain type of Master System and we wanted the original. And then, yeah. then we had to pick up games from both stores. I can't remember what we ended up spending. And we went back and forth a couple times like <laughs> idiots. And uh, this was one of the games that you just absolutely had to have. Along with Ghostbusters, which I told you not to buy. Because there's no way we can make an episode on that. It's Everyone knows it's crap. It's not even the slightest bit But we bit had it as kids. Who I mean... cares? I had chicken pox as kids. I'm not getting that back again. Meanwhile, that was the, the video editor, or game editor, rather. And so I made this level for you. And, uh, yeah. and like here you are playing it. My master level of puzzles. Yeah, and right away, he did something that he should never do if you're making a level. And just, like, that's just make something that's super tedious for a player to get through. Yeah. Like, I see all this ice. Now it's my job to uh, break through all the ice. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not fun. It's just time consuming. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is horrible. The very first thing you did in this level maker... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now, I've played some of your levels in Mario Maker, and they're a thousand times better. <laughs> I mean, you're stuck with, like, just this. I mean, there, there's not a whole lot you can do in Penguin Spaceland. <laughs> it's, are, are we on Pluto? Fuck that bird, man. Oh, yeah. Every once in a while, if you leave the egg sitting there for in one spot for far too long, even though it's moving down, it's like it's still in the same square. Yeah. Uh, like, if you leave it laying there for too long, a bird will come by and try to break it. An eagle. So the eagles and the uh, polar bears have teamed up together. <laughs> They're native to the to to space land. the moon? <laughs> I, I have a hard time believing that this penguin could build a spaceship and <laughs> master interstellar travel. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, maybe he comes from a different galaxy where penguins are super brilliant. Yeah, don't be racist. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. Are you going to be able to get up there to your egg? I'm struggling with your stupid level. Well... You could just put it down. You don't need to, like, move all these blocks. I had to move enough blocks that I could drop the egg down like I just did. <laughs> oh, this is the best part. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when you stand on those green blocks and you hit the peck button, then your character falls down. Uh, and then if you put the egg over one and you, you peck at it, then the egg falls down. So the egg has to go in the egg slot, obviously, and the penguin has to go in the penguin slot. Right. I think they could have figured that out with what I just told them. And I was trying to drop it on that gold block that keeps appearing and disappearing, and it didn't work out well because it has to be completely full before the egg <laughs> will uh, accept it as a block. Remember, you have to break the ice over and over and over again in that beginning part every time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you're so delighted right now. Like, he's struggling with my horrible design. <laughs> oh. What can I say? I was trying to convince you to get Mario Maker. Actually, you bought Mario Maker. I'm the loser no. who bought the Wii U. No, no, you bought everything as a bundle. I bought, uh... Oh, Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Yeah, that's true. Well, you almost made it. I was trying to justify buying a Wii U because, like I said, <laughs> like, it's not really worth it for just one title it's alone, not. even if it's the best title Nintendo's ever made. Yeah. And, like, they... They really did, like, wait their sweet time to come out with a game editor, you know, for Mario. That's such a great idea. And look how old this is. Fucking Penguin Land. They they, they really gave you some cool options. Yeah, um... They, and now I'm just waiting for, like, 
Zelda dungeon maker or something. Yeah. That would be fucking amazing. Yeah, that would be cool. Meanwhile, so here's the thing, like, you can't stand on the egg when it doesn't have enough space to go <laughs> yeah. anywhere. And I stepped on it just a bit too soon, like, right at the very end of the level. Game over. And, yeah, I wasn't going to... I, I beat it. I lost on, like, some sort of stupid technicality. Yeah, the baby died. <laughs> some stupid technicality. Anyway, so this is level 30, right? No, no. Um, oh, is this another one you made? This is another one I made. Oh, I'm playing so this level. <laughs> oh, fuck you! <laughs> See my polar bears? They're in captivity, like they should be. <laughs> well, what if they're brilliant polar bears? They're aggressive! <laughs> Racist. They're, they're after, like, my egg and shit. It's my offspring. Oh, almost. Almost. I like that you can uh, push the rocks over and just completely crush them in the wall, though. <laughs> Watch them, like, convulsively shake. <laughs> See, it's so fragile, the egg breaks it, but you, you don't? That doesn't make any sense to me. I like this move you're about to do, I think. Oh, no, never mind. I was gonna say, like, when you, like, push yourself through the egg yeah. like you, you like you switch places yeah it looks painful actually the little animation you do <laughs> so would you play uh, penguin land 2 2 the sequel yeah, the that sequel. doesn't exist that doesn't exist sure <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happened to this? I'm surprised it wasn't a big hit. I mean, what Sega had fucking Alex Kidd. Yeah, Alex Kidd did have sequels. I don't understand why this one didn't. Yeah. It's, it's better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's just so generic. Yeah, I guess. Actually, you know what? I think when I did a Google image search, there was actually images of... A like an HD version of this. Like they put it on like Sega oh, Genesis or something. We gotta like, find that. Maybe it was like Nintendo DS or something crazy like that where the, the graphics looked a lot better. The DS sucks. You can't record off of that. Like it's it's kind of a mess. Yeah. But uh, now this is um, the last level of the whole game. And uh, I'm like, oh, I can just beat it. Like, let's just beat the game. I like the, the different color background there. Instead of blue brick, it's gray brick. Yeah, and then, like, level two was red brick. <laughs> yeah, they a pretty cheap game overall. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, it's How come like... your time is stuck on eight? I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, 85, 84. Oh. Eight. Oh, that was weird. Yeah. How much did you pay for this? Uh, this was only like six bucks. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. I thought you paid a lot. No, and it came in know, the box. I know I paid uh, $15 for Alex Kidd yeah. and the Lost Stars. Yeah, it was way cheaper than that. Yeah, fuck that game. How much did you pay for Ghostbusters? $8. I paid more for Ghostbusters than this. That's bullshit. <laughs> I'm fucked. If I jump, the thing <sighs> comes down. I I don't I just don't know what to do. I bet there's walkthroughs. Oh, now you just completely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there are walkthroughs. Someone like has no life and decided to do this. <laughs> you say that all, like, all derogatory, like, fucking losers, got no life, writing a walkthrough for Penguin Land. You're playing Penguin Land, dummy. Like, you're so much better. <laughs> Not only am I playing it, but I'm like, I need a walkthrough. Yeah. <laughs> you're playing it and you're losing. At least the guy who wrote the walkthrough won. He didn't waste his time because he got something out of it. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Made such a marvelous drug. 
<laughs> oh, I forgot, like, you could pick up little things sometimes in the the ice, like you picked up a spring. Yeah, but what does it do? I think it makes you jump higher. Oh. Interesting. Doesn't really help your egg. I think there's one that does the egg, like it makes the egg bar drop down lower. Oh, so you that's can cool. Drop it down farther. Not entirely sure about that, but I, I think that is one of the power ups. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And every once in a while, you just get point power ups too, which is kind of stupid because he was playing this just for points. <laughs> <laughs> that guy who made the walkthrough. <laughs> <laughs> I just gave up. I mean, this is too fucking hard. It's, it's game over. Yeah. Good game, but... Yeah, what are you gonna do? Like, I, I would play it, but... I don't know. I have Mario Maker. <laughs> you should just sell this back to the store. <laughs>